All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another trade recap. So today I got two trades for you guys. These trades were taken live on stream on Wednesday, the 7th of August and Tuesday, the 6th of August. You guys can go back to my channel, watch these live streams, watch these whole trades taken live on stream for absolutely free. So let's jump into the first trade here. So this first trade made me $700 in about 5-10 minutes on my personal and on the top step account I got around $180 in this position. Now this was a great position. Uh, we were extremely patient for this position. We didn't take this trade until 8.50 and we jump on our London live streams at 7am. So we waited an hour and a half for a 10 minute trade again and it was very much worth it. So you guys can see here, for the most of the day, we were aggressively choppy. And what I was noticing was price was respecting this level of resistance. And what I was saying on stream was, I imagine a lot of people will be trying to short here, stops above these highs and these highs. And we want to be looking for buys up into that area, taking advantage of where most people are trying to sell. So we didn't get chopped up in this area. However, you guys can see here, in terms of the entry rules, what did you do? You liquidate the five minute lows, closed back above the resistance, so as this bottom wick here was being formed, this is where we started to execute the gold longs, risking about 12 ticks to try and get this play up into these regions here. Now, however, although I do want this beautiful play back up, I'm not ignorant or ignoring the fact that we do have very strong resistance here. And although I do want to see these rip the highs, my entry right here isn't the best in terms of the higher time frame. could tap into this level come back down, retest all of these areas before seeing this push back up. Um, but for me here and for everyone on stream, this was a scalp. This is a very quick in and out scalp. We're not, we're not trying to day trade. We're not trying to get these, these bigger plays. We're trying to get in and out. You know, if we can get the buys up here and then get more re-entries down here to get another trade, amazing, we're gonna do so. You then came up, you failed to close above that level. And this is where I exited my position around 2410.5 and I'll upload the screenshot so you guys can see it as well. So we got out of this position at 2410.5. As soon as you started to reject this area, 17 ticks, I was happy to lock it in. So locked in 17 ticks on that position, $700 on the personal trading, a 2.5 lot. Very, very nice trade there. Quick in and out. And then you then you then did end up coming all the way back down and then you know re-ripping that original high. And there was there was re-entries. Once you close back bullish, you could have got another entry here. And then you ended up hitting the full target that we gave on the YouTube live stream. I was happy just to lock in my 17 ticks based off what you've done for the rest of the day. I was happy for that to be my profit and just lock it in. Now, fast forwarding to the next day here on gold. Now, very similar trade, very similar concepts, very quick trade, not the biggest of trades again. You know, we usually get about 25, 30 ticks on stream. However, this was another trade where the volume was just unfortunately dying out. But we took sells here on the Wednesday, looking for price to come down and liquidate these lows here. Now, I only managed to get short once price had finally broken out of this level here. Because you can kind of see here, you know, you did have this really nice breakout here. You retested this area. Um, but for me, shorting here, oh, sorry, here, once this five minute actually closed bearish, taking sales here, when I have support right here, just doesn't really make much sense. However, once this five minute actually closed below, which was also the close of the 30, that to me was the confirmation that, cool, finally, we've now finally broken out of this range and I have a downside target here where I imagine a lot of people who will be trying to buy here on the higher time frame, putting their stop loss just below that low, I want to be shorting and taking advantage of them people as well. So we got short on the top wick of this five minute candle here, looking for this to re-push back into these lows. However, our trailing stop did get hit on this position. Again, my entry wasn't that good where, you know, if I was short from up here or up here, you know, break even here is absolutely fine. But if I'm short here, price could easily come back up Stop me at break even before having that push. You can either do two things. You can either lock in the trade or if it does come back here, look to take another short. And that was my whole thought process. I was like, cool, you know what? I'm gonna lock in this trade, 12 ticks. If we do come back up, amazing, I'm gonna look for a re-entry. And this was also the close of the 15. So the 15 could have easily given us that top wick, stopped us out, then having the push. So I was like, let me lock in the 12 ticks. If we do do that, I'm more than happy to take a re-entry. And then we closed that trade at around 12 ticks. My exit on that trade was 2389.89. So a total of 10 ticks, 10, you know, 10 ticks in five minutes. No, like I said, is it the biggest trade? Absolutely not. Is it a nice quick 10 tick scalp? 
$380 on the personal, $220 on the futures. Absolutely, I'm happy to lock in. It's more so just assessing volume and assessing the real price action before you know you then end up did come down to hit in our full TP. But unfortunately, we trailed quite aggressively as we came into the support and we started to show signs of also finding support. Happy to lock in the 10. Now, these both of these trades were taken live on YouTube, live on stream for absolutely free. And I've uploaded the screenshots so you guys can see them positions. If you do want to tune into the YouTube live streams, we had an amazing week this week. No losing trades, all winners. And I'll see you guys same time next week, every single day at 7 till 9 a.m. long time. I'll see you guys there. Peace.